Russian President Vladimir Putin today vowed to strike harder if longer-range missiles were supplied to Ukraine. Slamming the West for prolonging the conflict, Putin boasted that Russian and aircraft forces have shot down dozens of Ukrainian weapons and are cracking them like nuts. Putin was quoted as saying in an example of an interview with Rosia One State Television Channel that if the United States started supplying Ukraine with longer-range missiles, Russia would strike at those targets which she has not yet been hitting. Russian Defense Ministry spokesperson Igor Konashenkov said high-precision long-range missiles fired by the Russian Aerospace Forces on the outskirts of Kyiv destroyed T-72 tanks supplied by Eastern European countries and other armored vehicles that were in hangars. To strike troops and weapons stockpiles at the Russian forces rear, Ukraine has been seeking multiple rocket launch systems such as the M270 and M142 HIMARS, which is a mobile unit that can simultaneously launch multiple precision guided missiles up to 80 kilometers or 50 miles away. After receiving assurances from Kyiv that it would not use them to hit targets inside Russia, US President Joe Biden announced plans this week to give Ukraine precision HIMARS rocket systems. The South Korea military believes that North Korea has launched at least one ballistic missile off its east coast on Sunday. The missile test came just hours after South Korea and the United States wrapped up their first joint military drill involving a U.S. aircraft carrier in more than four years. It was also confirmed by the Japanese Coast Guard who cited the Defense Ministry and said that possible ballistic missiles were launched on Pyongyang's orders. Earlier, North Korea has expressed its displeasure at the joint drills conducted by South Korea and the United States by calling them rehearsals for invasion and the launch is being seen as an answer to the drills. SEO's Joint Chief of Staff said on Sunday, North Korea fired an identified ballistic missile into the East Sea. This is the second time in two months that North Korea has conducted a missile test. Last month, they test-fired three missiles, including Hwansong-17, possibly the largest intercontinental ballistic missile in its arsenal. This is all being considered to be a show of power amidst the three-day drill conducted by Seoul and Washington. It was conducted on the USS Ronald Reagan and it was the first joint drill since Yon suk yeol became the president of South Korea. The Joint Chiefs of Staff said in a statement, the exercise consolidated the two countries' determination to sternly respond to any North Korean provocations while demonstrating the U.S. commitment to provide extended deterrence.